Now we are working new details on a chemical cleanup at a local middle school. The cost of removing PCBs from a Westport Middle School campus recently doubled from its original estimate. And now officials say taxpayers are going to be forced to foot the bill. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has the details live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Those PCBs were discovered over the summer, and tonight at a special meeting by the Board of Selectmen, we saw a unique move. The cancer-causing polychlorobiphenols are in the window caulking, the ceiling, and air samples in the building. But the $1 million debt exclusion that might have been passed at this special selectman meeting is less than half what's needed to remove the PCBs. That forced the board to pass over the measure and wait for a better estimate in what amounted to a three-minute meeting. Thank you very much. Legally, you can't post one thing and go out and go against for something else. The school will now dip into its regular operating budget and rush to literally clean the air here and then come back to another special meeting in the fall to get that money back from taxpayers. It's expected to be a scramble to open school on schedule September 6th. I'm hoping, obviously, yes, because I'm concerned about the health of my children, so hopefully they're making the best decision. Maybe, you know, a day or two over, but uh, they're very confident that they should uh, meet that target date. With the PCBs gone? With the levels uh, that's acceptable by EPA. It's a short time, but um, I'm confident because if not, I think they'd delay. The estimates to clean up the school range from 1.7 million to more than 2.3 million. With the Mobile Newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.